Christian Pelsch out of Latvia. Pelsch, left wing corner, runs away from a check. There, Pelsch, one on two with some speed, going to go right wing side. Now Pelsch with St. Croix, Pelsch with some speed, right wing side, snaps this shot. And it's broken up the Old Kings bench. Here comes Christian Pelsch, racing in with Hickman. Got Pelsch all over, it's a pass. Oh, what a stop, and then he finds it, scores! Christian Pelsch. Low behind the goal for Van Mosler. We pass, now come the Kings to center. Pelsch, one on two, with some speed, going to go right wing side. And Bowman steps into him, getting in front of him here on the four check. Foster can't find the loose puck. The Warriors just hammer it out to center. Herbis, Foster, off the stick of St. Croix. Now it's in his skates. Pelsch collects it right wing, left wing side. His pass into skate comes right back to him. Foster gets it in deep here for St. Croix. Pelsch in front of the goal. St. Croix working his back end. Now turns in the corner. Got Pelsch all over. There's a pass. Oh, what a stop. And then he finds it and scores. Christian's Pelsch down low. Outweighs Heemster. It's 2-1 Oil Kings. What a goal from Christian's Pelsch. His first goal in the WHL. And how's that for poise? Corey Graham. An unbelievable pass from Michael St. Croix behind the net. Pelsch takes it on his forehand. He's got uh, Heemskirk in front of him. It looked like he faked the shot. He held on to it the whole way. Heemskirk's down and out, and he fires a forehand into the wide open cage. I mean, that's probably the uh, one of the prettier first goals you'll see. Great job from Pels. Pels has been coming here. He's had some good games on that road trip. Doesn't be able to score, put up any points, but he's been coming on here. The season's getting back. No uh, down ice pressure here by the Oak Kings. Now Pelshin on the four check. Eat him out. He's back end of the line, stripped by Pelch. Now Hickmont comes in with Ruck. Hickmont, Ruck in the slot, takes a look shot. He scores! Josh Lazowski on a pass from Hickmont. It's 1-1 as the Oil Kings get on the board. That was a terrific textbook two-on-one. Finished off uh, by Josh Lazowski. What a play, though. As the uh, It was a kind of a broken play, and the Oil Kings were able to pounce on the puck as it was uh, stripped off of Pelch's uh, stick right at the blue line. And it went to Hickmon, who uh, it, from there it was just a two-on-one, simple two-on-one. Nice pass over to Lazowski, who just uh, roofed it past Friesen Glove's side. And this one is knotted up at one. Big goal momentum-wise as well. The Old Kings are kind of sitting back here. The Old Kings in scoring with 16 points. Came with a shot, was over top of the Bruin goal. Now Wentworth. Thrown into the board, Stahl then slams St. Claude to the side, dash. Stahl again battling on St. Claude. Well, Kings will get the puck. Deck back at the point, slap shot rebound, they score. Michael St. Claude, a juicy bounce off the end wall. Has tied up the game. And it's 1-1 as St. Claude will get his 10th from the year. Tough to tell from up here, but that shot that went wide could have been purposely shot wide to avoid that traffic in front. And I believe it was. As, uh, you can see the Bruins getting down in the lane. They chose a different lane. Got the rebound off the end boards. And we're at a 1-1 tie. Well, the Bruins open the scoring here in this second period. Edmondson, some great chances. And they score now to take the lead. As Ryan Deck slips one under Gore. And it's 3-2 Oil Kings. And Ryan House may have tweaked his leg there on that play at center ice. He was slow to get up. And he had a tough time covering his man on that. And we still see him favoring that leg a little bit. It looks like he's going to stay out there. But the Oil Kings do take a stop. Has to go turn with it. Soft pass ahead for Pelch. Left wing side with some speed. At the blue line, just gains it. Now he throws the puck towards the front of the goal. It goes right through the crease of the side boards. Van Amosler fans on it. Pelsch now, right wing corner with it, down below the goal line, leans it for Michael St. Croix, 12 goals on the year, centers it, here's a chance shot, they score! TJ Foster, and that's the start the Oil Kings have been looking for, 1-0 Edmonton. Well, I guess we just got to ask for it, Corey, I don't know, but what a terrific start for the Oil Kings here. The tone is set right from the drop of the puck, Jordan Hickman, Dylan Rock, and Josh Zoski get the puck in deep, they go to work, they're not able to get 
uh, any uh, any shots, but they have to the cycle the puck for about 30 seconds. The next line comes out St. Paul. Pelsch and Foster, a great rush from Pels, and then what a terrific pass from Michael St. Paul as he pretends to go behind the net, puts it back out. T.J. Foster, short side, upstairs past Glover. St. Paul, here's Foster with speed, crosses the line, cuts it on his backhand, right in front, Glover down, rebound, they score! Christian Pelch right in front of the goal, finds the loose puck, carries the rebound, we're tied at three. Well, the right spot at the right time is Christian Pelz, and this is all at the work of T.J. Foster, who's been skating very, very well tonight. We've seen him drive the net on a few other occasions. Here he does just blow past Jane and Risling, cuts in front of the net. Glover makes the first save, but Pelz was following up very hard right behind, and he's able to put the rebound past Glover. we got a tie game, three apiece each. Great job from the Latvian. Zelsky back to Hickman on his own end, looking at Ryan Hart. That's the wide man, he keeps it the blue line. Fans on the shot, here's a chance for the Oil Kings. Poke the head, now St. Croix. He'll go for Pell, dropping it back. There's a great front, St. Croix backhand shot. Oh, what a stop, rebound. They score! Griffin Reinhardt going hard to the front of the net, following up on the play, buries it. It's 2-2. And the number three, Bar Pestic! Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 6 seconds. Here's Pelch in the Vancouver end, trying to keep it in deep as he's knocked down along the sideboard. Sword, St. Croix walks off the, the boards in for Foster. There's a shot. Oh, and a stop, and then he hits the goal. Rebound, they score! T.J. Foster going hard to the net. Jensen made the first stop, and Foster poked the rebound by. It's 5 or 6-4 now. Uh, Foster breaks that up. Now Pelch. With St. Croix, Pelch with some speed, right wing side, snaps a shot, listen to say, bounces down, St. Croix fans on it, great in front, comes right back to the line, lots of time for the walk, fires the shot, they score! Ripped on by Braden the Rock, and I think it hit something in front, it's 3-2 now for Brandon. Wow, oh, I love this shot from Braden the Rock, a juicy, juicy rebound, comes right up the middle of the slot, Braden the Rock's just getting on the ice. And uh, the puck comes right to him. They're going to say it's the Rock's goal. St. Claude wants Here's these the two puck. teams at a line brawl in Brandon. One of the uh, better line brawls of the season that year. Now here's Foster into the corner for Michael St. Claude. Drops it back to T.J. Foster. Well, not a lot of these players were involved, obviously. But Foster now in the corner. Centers it in front. Looking forward there. Chance for Pell. Shot. The lights on. They score! Christians Pell's in front of the net has tied this one up. We're all not at a three. Well, I'll talk about a response and what happened before these two goals, Corey. That fight with Stefan Legault, he got his team fired up, showing this Wheat Kings team, hey, you came to our building, you've hit us around for the first 10 minutes, well, we're going to start pushing back. And ever since that, it's just been some terrific hockey from this Oil Kings team. Nice little work down low from uh, St. Claw, putting the puck out front. A fortunate bounce right onto the stick of Christian Spels, who sticks with it and eventually is able to jam it past the ball and Liam Liston. And Liston was down, the light was on before the referee had made a signal, but uh, nonetheless, we're tied at three. Goal is third of the season, scored by number 26, Christian Pels. The assist to number six. Berglund centers it in front. That one missed Ross, and now turning deep is Rock, left wing side, three canes on him, though he'll just chip it out to center, it rolls down the ice, no ice. Uh, we, we wondered if it would be sloppy to start. The Oil Kings have not looked good here early on. 5 nothing are the shots for the Hurricanes. Here's Christian Pelz, drag move in the slot. Backhand shot on, stopped by Anderson. He'll sweep it to the corner. St. Croix to the line. Mark Pesek fakes a shot, walks in lots of time. Now his wrist shot's blocked. Poked to the line, kept in by Pesek on his backhand into the corner for T.J. Foster. Leaves it for Pelz. His sharp angle shot stopped. Now the Hurricanes able to chip the line. Can't get it by Keegan Lowe. Good pressure here by the Oil Kings. Pelz. Left wing corner, turns away from a check. Tries to cycle it back to the line, low just on side. He shot, they score! Tipped in front by Michael St. Croix, 1-0 Oil Kings. Picked up there by Kizik. Trying to get it ahead, it's broken up the Oil Kings bench. Here comes Christians Pelch, racing in with Hickmon. In front, Hickmon, they score! Jordan Hickmon, it's 3-1 Oil Kings. 
That's a heck of a nice goal and beautiful setup play by Christian Pelsch who makes a nice move one-on-one uh, -on -one against the defenseman and then puts a backhand pass uh, across the top of the crease to Jordan Hickmont who really had nothing left to do but uh, tap it into the net. But a sliding defenseman tried to get in a blocky pass from Pelsch and Pelsch just outweighs him, makes a dangle at the side of the net, sends it in front to Hickmont who uh, just snaps at home, and this one's now 3-1 for the old Coming at Edmonton like you did in the first 40. Today's day and age, Pat, you just can't clutch, grab, and hang on to hockey games. I think you got to keep coming, keep the four check going. It's been real strong. The aggressive nature the Canes have played tonight, if I'm Rich Preston, I continue to employ just the same strategy here into this final period. Loose puck out in front of the Edmonton goal. Knocked down, Brody centers in. Fighting with a shot, center with a whack at it. Loose in front of the Edmonton goal, poked down to the corner. Fighting will pick it up. Gets it now to the left point for Daniel Johnston. Johnston, a wrist shot blocked in front by Foster. And it goes back out to center ice. Fighting brings it through. He's knocked down by Pels. No penalty call. Back the other way come the Hurricanes. Cam Braze in with Kizik. Braze, a wrist shot up high. Brody Sutter now picks it up. Sutter to the right point. Here's Fighting. Fighting's in. Tried to drop it back. He got caught. Here comes Pels in on a break. Pels shoots, scores. Christian Pels upstairs. And this is a one-goal hockey game. Tremendous speed that was there as Belch just flew through the neutral zone. The native of Latvia goes high, blocker side, great finish. Huge goal here on the breakaway. Pelsch scores, Pat, to cut this hurricane lead down to one. And the native of Latvia, you raved about him in the pregame show. You really liked his play up in Edmonton the other night. This, of course, our first time to see him play this season. Gets a big one here. Nice backhand move. Puts her upstairs. The Calgary native scores a big one here in the shootout. All right, so Christian Pels, the Latvian, will shoot next here for Edmonton. Pels cuts down the middle of the ice. And on Anderson, he fires it home and scores. And Anderson tried to poke check it, Fred, and Pels beat him. Hermes has got the second Edmonton goal, his fourth of the season, to make it 2 0. 13, Merrick Herbass. Assist to number 11, Dylan Ruck. And number 12, Jordan Hickmont. Time of the goal, 11 minutes, 24 seconds. Chance right in front Herbass. here for Pels, and he scores all alone. Just off the right hand side of the Brandon Crease, took the pass, and Kind of outweighted Tash Day and then puts it home past the Brandon Netmeyer and the Oil Kings with goals 14 seconds apart take a 3 nothing lead. Christian Pels. Just the boards to the hash mark to McElrath at the line. Shot off of Pelsch and over to the left boards. Foster trying to clear it out and is successful. He's back on the box getting across the Warrior Ryan line. Lost his footing. And Riley has the puck, here's Pelsch, a chance, backhand, scores! A series of misfortunate events for the Warriors results in a goal by the Edmonton Oil Kings, Christian Pelsch. So Essek there to gather it up quickly ahead for Legault, hooked up by Earhart, and that will draw a penalty. As a nice shot there by Edmonton versus East Kirk to make a good save. Reinhardt to Essek, he'll wait, slap shot off the post, rebound, they score! Pelsch diving through the air while beat Thomas Heenskirk and with the delay call coming. And now Conan, they're going to buy some time in their own zone. The Tigers out to center. Bay tries to chip it by Van Moss or he stops him. They'll go ahead. Here's Wachinski. Breaks across the blue line. Two on one with Rainer. Wachinski on his backhand for Rainer's side door. Couldn't get a shot away. He scores! <laughs> Stanford. And the Oil Kings control it. Pesic at the line. We're back to four on four. Goes across for low. Down low. Ruck turns it in front. Oh, just tipped wide by Christian Pelsch. A great play by the Oil Kings to get Pelsch all alone in front. He just chipped that one line wide. Four on four hockey here now. Here's Pelsch at center with some speed down the right wing side. Drops it off for Pesic and jumped in the play as well. Pelsch in behind the goal on his forehand, taking a look. Now cuts trying to find a lane to find Pesic again. Pelsch. Right wing side, sends it all the way across. Here's a chance, side of the net. No shot coming. Oh, great move. There's a shot. Oh, they score! Mark Pesnick, a beauty goal in tight. It's 2-2. Eyes up with Rally. Freeze the puck. Pelsch fires a shot from the goal line. Stopped by Tucker. 
Now back to the line, kept in by Keegan Lowe, left point, takes a look, he'll just fire it in behind the goal for Christian's Pelish. Working against Mark yeah. McNeil in deep, Pelish is all tied up, St. Paul backs it there, bats it off the back of the goal for Pelish. Right side to the line for Pesic. can't get a shot away, now will shoot, tipped on, they score! T.J. Foster got a piece of the Mark Pesic shot to knock it through the wickets. It's 4-2 Edmonton. It's short-handed goal. Christian Pelch from Latvia. Off the face-off. Which Dave Sutter will bang it to center ice. Edmonton's Pesic has it in the neutral zone. But we're skating it was St. Croix. Dumped up ice by Allos. Can't drive it in. That center ice. Do- Doty had to go through his skates. Edmonton's on side, right wing, blue line, Pezik shot on goal, struggling, stopped by Pickard, rebound, loose outside the crease, and banged in for the tying goal by Edmonton. Welcome back, play just underway in the third period, St. Croix gains the line, his shot goes, sails over the, gla- over the uh, net, into the glass. Now Christian Pelt, 3-2 Blazers leading here, Pelt, work up the sideboard, in front, loose puck, they score! What a start for the Kings here, 17 seconds into the period, and they've tied the score at three. Wow, that was quick. What a start for the Oil Kings here in the third period. You can bet, you know, the the, the message in the locker room in between periods, hey, boys, we don't need to get that goal in the first five minutes, but we don't want to give one up. Well, certainly, the Oil Kings go to work, and what a beautiful goal. Christian Pelch once again, a beauty goal. Palusa plays it through the middle. That one is intercepted. Here come the Oil Kings. St. Brown into the left foot zone. Gets it cross ice and dropped over top of the net by Edmonton's Christian Pelch. Back to the blue line, right side for Mark Pesic. Pesic to the corner. Over to Pelch to the blue line for Pesic. He'll let it go. Save Anderson. Lose Mark side of the left foot goal. They score on the rebound. Christian Pelch beating Anderson. And it's 1 0 Edmonton. McKissick was there with his guy. He just couldn't contain him, Pat. Anderson did his job. Bob made the stop off the point shot, but Pelsch good work out battling Rickman in front, fought off the Hurricane defender and puts it in the back of the net as Anderson tried stretching to his right side. But Francois was able to keep the puck out and then Graham Hood previous to that had him beat, but we're off the goal post, Fred. That close to tying it up. The team's got the energy. They got the momentum now here, Pat. They got to build on it five on five. Still lots of time left, nine and a half to go. On cut up now the Hurricane zone left for his balls over for three on the power play tonight. Here's Derek Rickman puts the puck to the corner, gives it away though. Here's a chance for Pelsey Brown scores. Brutal giveaway by the Hurricanes, Freddie, and they cost them dearly. Pelsey scored the first in the game for Edmonton. Going to get their fourth on the costly turnover in the back end. Really a sore spot here for the Hurricanes in this hockey game tonight. And Rickman gets a mouth left behind him, rock to his right. Clayton on it for Calgary, he's one back to Vandemosser, winds a wrist shot, that's blocked in front. Pelsch finds a loose puck, top of the slot, turns, SCORE! <laughs> Christian Pelsch off a loose puck in the slot, finds it, buries it past Glover to cut the lead to 4-3. to three. Well, Christian Pelz has had a hot hand. Now his fourth goal in his last three games, and sometimes you just need a little break. Michael St. Croix wins the faceoff back to Van de Mosler. He tries to put the shot through some bodies. Doesn't make its way through. The puck lands right on the uh, stick of Christian Pelz, who shows some great patience. A lot of players would have just put that puck blindly on net when it was at their feet. Instead, he takes two steps, creates a little room for him, fires a wrist shot in time as a hit and start a chain. Lead pass right on the tape. Dylan Rock across the blue line. Walks in, doesn't shoot it. Still by some time. Back to the line. Pesic hits for a shot through. They score! <laughs> Christian Pell tips it right in front of the goal. It's 7-5 Edmonton. Well, that's going to be the fourth point of the night for Mark Pesic. The puck comes out to the neutral zone. It's chipped out by the hitman. He races back as fast as he can to get that puck and then turns it right up to Dylan Ruck. A terrific transition. Ruck takes the puck across the blue line, jams on the brakes, and then fires it back to Pesic, who's now gained the blue line. He gets his head up and fires a shot on. 
Christian Kels in front, followed by Hood, just on side, top of the slot. Hooked away from him by Christian Kels, now Ruck. Kels feed it across the St. Claude, his own line. Takes a bump there from Mitch Maxwell, lead pass Ruck at center. He'll swing it across, just on side St. Claude with Pels, fucks it, he shot, stopped by Anderson, loose puck, he scores! Claw shot dribbles through Anderson. Christian Pels right there to pot it. 2 0 Edmonton. Well, Corey, this is just beautiful hockey right here. Tick, tack, toe, tack, tick. And a rebound goal for Pels. But what puck movement starting with St. Claw. Kicks the puck back to his defense. And then they come up through the neutral zone to St. Claw to Ruck. Back to St. Claw. His shot slick trickles through Anderson. Great press for Abney. He'll dish it off. Here's Buck, right wing side. Abney points for the one time. Buck all the way back to the line, puts it in deep for Pell. Sends it back to Ruck. Great play. Cuts his low. They score! What a beauty by Adrian Vandemosler. It's 3 0. Vandemosler shoots it in deep. And a throw fly to the bench here. All King six attackers. On the outside, spinning down there is. Pell tries to get in front. There's a shot to stop. Rebound. They score. Tries to put the wall away from Buck Maxwell. Now St. Claw finds it. Get it across. Or Pell's to St. Claw. Buck moving a chain. Van Mosser just gets on. As Deck gets off. He'll have the puck. He'll pick up speed to center. Dances by one hurricane. Right in. Van Mosser splits the D and drags down. He scores. Wow. Adrian Van Mosser through the defense. It's 5 2. Go. It's going after his second of the night. Oh, that went down really early there. Now cross ice pass. Chance in front. Goal. Backhand. Goal on the part of Mark Raiders. As the transition play catches Calgary and Mike Williamson off guard. Calgary Hitler with the long change here in the second period of play, and Edmonton uses a great speed of transition to pick up the goal. Raiders with his 14th of the season. We'll see Snyder as he goes down really early here. And then on the transition, you'll see a couple Calgary guys now. Just kind of standing around and really not doing much. As Riesling comes out of the box, it's that hole that's open. And a good touch pass from Pelt. Rock goes off his stick in front of St. Juan. Now it's Pelt. Takes off a hook. Tied up in deep now with Bredo. St. Juan comes in the ball trying to poke it free. Juan does get it. Now he's back in the front. Here's Ruck. Bad angle taking a shot. Four fouls just went through his face and wanted the goal, but great delay by Dylan Ruck. Here's Pesic at the line, dishing it off to Ruck. Right wing corner on the outside. They're looking some jump here once again. Pesic cutting towards the front of the goal behind the next St. Juan. On his backhand is Pelsch. In front, St. Juan. Score! Back come the Hurricanes. And the sin in their life. Kizzy. Phantom Osley, head for Pelz at the end of his ship, finds Hickmont. Here he comes down the left wing side, cross the line, right in, back in, SCORE! And I think the big thing is there, the uh, Dylan Ruck and Oscar at the point, just have to be careful with the early ones and the punters. Rock leaves it in, now he wants to get it back to the line, the Rock's gonna, or the Rock's gonna hold it for Rainer, he'll go across, here's a chance, firing a shot off the post, rebound, they score! <laughs> Stefan Legault buries his second of the game, it's 7-1, after Pels writing it off the post. Well, I really like the puck movement we've seen from the Oil Kings tonight on the power play. Just some real heads-up movements and great pins from Lorac here as he grabs the puck out of the air. He immediately fires it cross ice to Rainers. Rainers, without hesitation, goes back door at Pelsch. Pelsch's shot goes short side off the post and actually comes out the other side behind Tate. And there's uh, Legault with the easiest move of all. List the blue ship scoring chances. Wilson makes a move. Turns out with a side. Behind the net. A shot, they score! St. Croix has tied the game. St. Croix came off the boards and beat Kemper. Wasn't the hardest shot in the world, but it sure was effective. 
And the Oil Kings have done it again. It's 3-3. You talked about Christian Pels having a heck of a game. And he makes this play happen. And St. Claude, that is a beneficiary of this hard work by Pels here. He stays with it. He's taken to the ice. Watch that little play that he makes as he's on the ice getting it to St. Claude. Now, Michael St. Claude wants to go a little wider with that puck. You get a feeling he'd like to take it a little more to the outside. But he stops and recognizes that he's got Petrovic frozen between him and the goaltender. A perfect screen makes no mistake. Just Spoken up, Oil Kings. Nice move. Here's Pels, and he just goes. They score! And it goes in. It wasn't pretty. Doesn't have to be. Pels opens the scoring for the Oil Kings. They have their first lead of this series. Is it Pels or is it Foster? It doesn't matter. It's one nothing Edmonton. Yeah, looks like the celebration is around. Number 16, T.J. Foster, that's Phantom Osler, keeping that puck in. We showed you the pitching, how important it is. That tells, he gets away from his set dumper, and they just swarm the net. The team just didn't wait. The oil can just go hard to the net. There's Pelts trying to get away from his man. I think he had a stick left it by Byron Grace. The puck kept going, got into the paint area. Have a good look here. Right along the line, oh my goodness. And Foster.